Good morning children and welcome to another interesting and entertaining session of English literature. Well, before we get started, children, I wish to ask you a few questions. Have you ever witnessed a tornado or a twister? Well, out of all the natural calamities which we have in this world, twisters or tornadoes are known to be of great damage. The United States of America have maximum number of twisters in places like Oklahoma and Kansas City. Now when I talk to you about Kansas City, let me tell you, way back in 1939, Kansas City was only a very small town in the United States of America. However, now, yes, just like San Francisco and uh, Dallas, Kansas is a very developed city, but it was not the case 70 years back. Now, let me project you in the past, 1939, this author of this lesson wrote a novel by the name The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. OZ, that's pronounced as Oz. And the name of the author is Elfrod Baum. Elfrod Baum wrote this novel, The Wizard of Oz. And based on his novel in the year 1939, there was a musical fantasy movie that was released in the United States of America. And the name of the movie was The Wizard of Ooz. This movie was aimed at bringing out creativity and innovative sense in the children. So that you can imagine. Once you watch a movie like this, well, it may not be real because I said it's a fantasy movie. Fantasy, fantasy can never be real. It could be illusional, but it can never be real. But when you watch a movie in your young age, like The Wizard of Ooze, your gray cells are nurtured to think, to think and imagine, what if? That is the very important question. What if? Well, it may not be like how you see it, but what if? That's a very important question. So children, now let me ask you a second question before I sh show you what a twister in Kansas City looks like. Before that, let me ask you another question. Who's the king of the forest? Who's the king of the jungle? Is it a lion? Well, if it is a lion, do you think ages back, was this lion really courageous? Because in case if you are the king, you have to have a lot of courage. But do you think that the lion was initially courageous or was it a coward species? I've asked you two consecutive questions. Now, while you think about that, here is a video for you. You can see the devastation caused by a tornado or a twister, which is again nothing but a storm in Kansas City. I'll catch you. I'll see you on the other side of the video. An outbreak of violent tornadoes barreled through western Kansas Tuesday, tearing through homes. Pieces of the house are falling oh, apart. No. Oh no. Roads. This is about to be an accident. I don't like this. And leaving multiple people critically injured. In the aftermath, people sifted through debris looking for anyone unaccounted for. A busted propane tank spewed gas along a highway, and thousands were without power. More than two dozen tornado sightings were reported across the plains. Further south, powerful storms swept through Oklahoma. At least eight homes were damaged in Bristow, where trees and power lines were torn apart. We heard uh, the wind pick up a little bit. Uh, we heard glasses, glass start breaking, and then I heard all the lumber start just ripping apart, and, and I, knew, I knew what was going on. The violent weather spread west, where at least two twisters ripped through eastern Colorado. Storms pummeled the area with heavy rains and golf ball-sized hail. 
and leveled this business in Adams County. Did you just see the damage? Well, imagine driving in Kansas City in the midst of a twister or a tornado. Well, you can get taken for a ride, a free ride. You don't even have to go to, uh, well, I, I just forgot the adventure park that we have in Bangalore. Well, let, tell, let me know the name in the comment section. If you have been to the adventure park, which we have in Bangalore, where you have all those rides, okay? This will be a free ride for you, but it will be quite an experience. What might happen to you? Will you just fly? If you are in the middle of a tornado, just think about it. While you think about it, let me get this lesson started. Now, you very well know that our next lesson in your Pearson book literature is the Wizard of Ooz. Now, you see, when Shinod sir had taken some classes during the lockdown, those were some additional value, ad value addition classes that we started in our YouTube channel when our YouTube channel was launched in the name of the school. He took a chapter that was on gender, masculine and feminine gender. You see, feminine gender, in the feminine gender, uh, a, a lady who does witchcraft, black magic, sorcery, is called witch, W-I-T-C-H. It's not sandwich, witch, W-I-T-C-H. A lady who's got magical powers, but well, uh, she's not somebody, you know, whom you can trust upon. What's the masculine gender of witch? Feminine gender, of course, is witch. In the masculine gender, a person, a man who's got such magical powers and indulges in wrong doings through uh, sorcery is called a wizard. W-I-Z-A-R-T. Now that you know about a wizard and the witch, let me tell you, there was one such wizard living in this magical city of Uz. Well, Uz is a place, but the city was Emerald City. Emerald, E-M-E-R-A-L-D. Now, to enjoy literature and to follow my lessons, if you do not open your text, and if you just restrict yourself to watching this video, you will never learn. I give you the raw materials, but you have to cook and eat your own food. Remember, there's no spoon feeding business in literature per se. So I hope, since I have made this point very clear in the previous online sessions, that if you do not open your book and read, well, these lessons are not going to have any impact on your thinking prowess. Great. So I asked you two questions. Now you already know about a twister or a tornado, which is again, it's like a storm which rages through most parts of uh, the United States of America. But we don't have uh, twisters as such in India, right? It's because of the landforms, okay? The formation and all. You need a lot of open spaces. But in India, well, we are overpopulated country. There's a human twister going on. Right? Now we have a pandemic. We have... A twister, you know, which has been created, caused by a virus, right? So don't have much time to think about natural calamities right now. Okay, coming back to my point. Yes, now it was the line courageous. We'll find out in this lesson. So now let's get started. You can open your uh, textbook. You can open this lesson. I mean, I, I don't know the page, but you need to check out and open the page. You can check it in the content section of your book. Open the page and let's get started. Okay, at the beginning there was a beautiful farmhouse somewhere in kansas city 1939 way back ages back there was a small girl of your age her name was dorothy she had a pet well it was a pet dog a very cute pet dog the name of the pet dog was toto t-o-t-o -O. so dorothy plus toto they used to live in the same farmhouse which was owned by their uncle okay so one fine day in the morning, the weather was pretty fine. There was bright sunshine, but you never know when a storm might arrive. It's very uncertain, right? Suddenly, a twister knocked Kansas and the entire house was dilapidated. It was razed, R-A-Z-E-D, to the ground, okay? It means it was completely destroyed. And because Dorothy and Toto were very small, they just flew. They took off. And the storm just made them circle, circle, circle like a whirlwind. And they were thrown across to, a, to an unknown land. And they had no clue about this land because this land was never visited by any human beings before. There were a lot of unnatural phenomena going on in this land. The terrains and the landforms and the geography were very different. However, let me tell you, 
<coughs> now let me introduce you to some of the characters. Now, Dorothy was very sad because she had no clue of how she could probably return to Kansas. But she wanted to return with her dog. She was missing home already, but she had no idea of how to go back. Now she was in an unknown, unknown land with different geography. Yeah. So she got the idea that if she met this wizard of Uz, this particular fictitious character could probably lead her back home to Kansas. So now you see <clears throat> the first two characters in the story were Dorothy and Toto. Now they had an agenda. The agenda for them was to go back to Kansas from where they have landed due to the cyclone. Now they were just roaming around already very tired because they were exploring the lands and they were kind of searching, searching a way out. But you know, it was like a jigsaw puzzle and she was getting all the more lost until she, she met a scarecrow. Now, do you know what a scarecrow is? Well, a scarecrow is normally placed in the fields where you, where you have agricultural practices so that you see birds like crows and all shouldn't come and destroy your plantations. That's the reason it is kept as a security. Okay. You see, it, it, it's basically lifeless. It's got no brain. It, it's got no heart, no feelings. It's just a pot. Okay. If you have seen Halloween, the costumes that people wear. Okay. So they, it's like uh, there's a melon, mask melon and two eyes are dug out of it so that it looks like human, but it's not human. Right. It has got no feelings. It has got no heartbeat, nothing, no blood circulation. So they made a scarecrow. And the scarecrow, and when Dorothy was looking at the scarecrow, she felt as if the scarecrow blinked an eye. Well, she was taken aback. And she asked the scarecrow, did you just do that? Did you just blink your eye? The scarecrow said, ah, <laughs> blinking an eye is child's play. I can do a lot more. However, I have got no heart, no brain. She said, see, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I'm scared. There's a new place. I'm scared for my dog. Never know what might happen to the little one. Can you guide me back to Kansas? It's just a tuna that have made me land here. I want, to, I want to go back home. And the scarecrow says, well, I've got no idea. So just for reference sake, Dorothy remembered to ask the scarecrow, hey, do you know the wizard of Ooze? He said, no, I don't know. Dorothy was surprised. He said, come on, you have been staying in this land for so many years. You don't know the wizard. He said, no, I have no idea. And how would I know? You see, to know somebody or remember something, you need to have a brain. I don't have a brain. It's only a pot with eyes dug out of it. But hey, I have a request. In case if you get to meet Wizard of Ooze, will you kindly ask him on my behalf whether he can render me a piece of brain, please? If he gives me a brain, my life will be complete, says the scarecrow. Oh my God. So now you have seen three characters. Dorothy and Toto are like team. They want to go back to Kansas. Now you meet another character, Scarecrow, and the Scarecrow wants a brain. So Dorothy says, well, then why don't you accompany me? Well, I'll take you out of your stick on which you were arrested, and I'll take you along. Come, let's go together and find the Wizard of Ooze. So he agrees. The Scarecrow agrees. When they keep moving, they meet another character. My God, it's a Tin Man. Tin Man. Now, Tin Man. A man, so basically it's like, again, a fictitious, not, it's, it's an unreal character which is made out of tin that was there in the land, uh, Emerald City. And the, the tin man uh, makes some groaning sound. What's a groaning sound? Well, groaning sound is like when you get hurt or injured, you make sounds like, oh, oh, oh don't you make those sounds? That's called groaning, G-R-O-A-N-I-N-G, groaning sound. He was making groaning sounds. Again, Dorothy was curious to know, uh, asked, who are you? So he said, I am Tin Man, and who are you? I have never seen something like you before, and who what's this? Oh, it's a dog, okay, oh. oh, how have you landed here? He said, oh, come on, there was a twister, and I don't want to come here. A twister made me fly away from Kansas, and I landed here. Now, I want to go back. Do you know the Wizard of Who's? So Tin Man said, I don't know anyone, because I am heartless. I've got no heart. Just like the other one, Scarecrow didn't have any brain. This per this Tin Man doesn't have a heart. So he says, if you meet the Wizard of Oz, would you request on my behalf for him to render me a heart? Well, see, a lot of demands from everyone in the story. 
So now you have met four characters. Who are all it? I will just do a recap. Dorothy and Toto. Team. They want to go back to Kansas. Next, Scarecrow. What does he want? Ha uh, brain. Third, it's the Tin Man. What does he want? Heart. Fine. Now they proceed, all three together, in search of the Wizard of Ooze, when suddenly there was a roaring sound. And what's a roaring sound? <sighs> yes, just like how a tiger or a lion might probably roar. It was a very scary sound and Toto was definitely scared. And Dorothy was equally scared for Toto, thinking it could be a beast, an unknown land. You never know. And that beast could feast on the dog. But when they approached, that's from where the sound was coming, the place, you know, see, they got to see that it was a lion. Dorothy was scared because in the real world, a lion is the king of the forest. But here, the lion was weeping. He was crying. And Dorothy said, oh God, you are a lion. I was so scared. He said, don't be scared of me. I'm a lion. And this is not Kansas. It's a fictitious world. It's an imaginary world. In here, I'm a cowardly beast. I'm scared. And that's the reason I'm crying. Where are you headed? Now he tells, she tells the same old story back to the lion again. And says I am in search of the wizard of ooze. Can you help me? Lion says I don't know but I'll accompany you. All, all, all of you. And I would like to see him as well. Emerald city. The place where wizard of ooze dies. And I would like to ask for something. Oh my god. Again the lion has to ask now. What does he want now? Courage. So children, I share the mind map with you. On that note, our lesson ends. See how well I have explained it to you. Now if you just read it, just read it casually, you will be able to join the dots. I'll leave you on that note. I'll share the mind map. So just remember, I'll just do a recap, verbal recap. Dorothy and Toto wants to go back to Kansas. Scarecrow wants a brain. Tin Man wants a heart. And the lion wants courage. And they all want to meet the wizard of Ooze who stays in a fictitious land called the Emerald City. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback and uh, thoughts in the comment section of this video. I'll, I'll see you on the other side of this lesson when I provide you the question answers and then we are going to have a discussion in the online session. Bye children, take care.